Hello, YouTubers. Welcome to vlog number 98. It is a Tuesday. We've got some UT1 this afternoon. This morning? This afternoon? Got my merch on. Again, still working out the details on that. Got my smoothie. Yeah, buddy. Just the usual protein powder, oats, frozen banana, frozen strawberries, yogurt, and some milk. Oh, yeah, wow, wee. Okay, gonna go to the club now and get ready for some training for the day. And we've made it back to the club. Yeah, buddy. Remember, only two vlogs to go till vlog 100 for the giveaway of that smoothie maker to celebrate the first 100th vlog. Let's get into the club, get changed, get on the first session. Should be on the water. Let's go. I still got the feeling that you're next to me Stuck in my head When lights go off You're everything that I could ever want Your touch so soft Not looking for no, no, no Heaven or gold Cause I got you I got you Don't wanna show And we've made it after a fantastic session with Fraser Christie. What's up? Hello. Would you like to take this morning's breakfast? Hello, YouTubers! This morning we got ourselves some lovely breakfast. Got ourselves some toasted bread, eggs, two types, sausages, beans. Lovely. <laughs> and remember, food is fuel. Thank you. <laughs> so Tiernan just got here from Ireland yesterday. And his first, ex second experience of breakfast, he didn't know that porridge served in buckets. <laughs> it's as big as his head! Okay, we're going to finish up the food. Hope you enjoyed George's segue this morning. Food. Recovery. Next session. An amazing breakfast with the boys. Tiernan did not finish his porridge. <sighs> Okay, now we've got UT1s on ERG. It's gonna be two 4K UT1s, rate 21, rate 23. So I'm gonna take the splits that I did last week for the three by 2K, and then do the first one at 21, a bit faster than, at the same, a bit faster than 21 last week. So that was 48, 49, and then see how I feel, and then step on from there. Maybe do the same split as the last one last week. That was 44s, 45s. But we'll see how I feel, making sure I'm making good steps, not just blowing my doors off. All right, let's go. Okay, and welcome to Erg Thoughts with myself and the lads again. As you can tell from the title, we're going to talk about the differences one may face when you're doing a flat out 2K. What is harder, a 542K or maybe a 632K? Does it depend on the time or maybe it's just max effort? So I'll go with my opinion first. I would say it's all about the effort because you're trying as hard as you can. You're going flat out, it's gonna hurt. And the hurt isn't necessarily worse, I think, but it's still very bad no matter what time you're doing. Let's go on. We'll start with Fraser Christie. Hello. Um... Wait, so you basically think that they're all, it's all the same? 
as long as you're trying as if, as you well can. if you're going flat out yeah you're going, you're going flat out it doesn't matter so, if you're so I think that when you're the quicker you go probably the the changes you make in your 2k speed as you get faster are sometimes less physical and more mental as in learning how to mm. pace yourself properly and how to empty empty the tank <laughs> properly so <laughs> that means tank. when I'm doing a, a harder one or a faster one it's usually harder because it's only faster because I'm burying myself and you learn like over years how to push yourself to the limit I think mm. that's my opinion very valid point there Fraser let's move on to Jack Beaumont oh well um, one would say that <laughs> it's more about the perceived effort so um, despite you know regardless of the power output or the time I think it's probably just as hard if you're going as hard as you can you know like I can't say I can't speak to someone that does a 540 I wish I could but I reckon it's probably just as hard as, as my eye test when I go as hard as I can and, and throwing, up, throwing up at the end of it so <laughs> seven minutes when I broke seven minutes it was a it hurt can you say it's a bastard <laughs> yeah it hurt, <laughs> it hurt. Uh, right. over to you Ross Ross Scoot. gyro Scoot. Uh, the longer it takes the harder it is because everyone's going 100% oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. drop in the mic I right. could that's massive I'm with Cam I'll go for it's probably relative to how fit you are so no matter what the time you're always gonna have that perceived exertion of like what 100% so it's all the same but no matter what and <coughs> lastly we've got Sam Arnott well if we take it back to Fraser's point of you learning over your career I, I'm, a, I'm a big believer in that as well but some people are gonna cap out or start really hitting the wall of improvements at 610 620 and other people will cap out at 540 so I think the argument's probably more to do with when you reach your capping out le level. And comparing the distances, I think if we take it to the extreme, it, it's, okay, it's two Ks, but I feel like it's, if we compare the time, well, take it to the extreme, it's like doing a 1500 and a two and a half K. So they're both different distances. Well, both, you're both, oh, sorry. I'm, I'm, where are we going with this? Where are we going? We're doing two games. They're both, they're, they are, We're doing two games. They're, they're both horrible, but they're just different times. So there is not necessarily a harder one or an easier one, but you're not 100% flat out in, in either. You could probably go a faster stroke in the middle of both of your, both of your pieces. Yeah. Um, you, I think you just pace yourself differently. But that, so but pacing yourself for a different, different time. So you'll be... Yeah, there I'm, I'm, yeah, there we go. That's... All right, Sam Arnott with the, with the lovely confusion thrown in there at the end, the curveball. Great insight from Everyone Sam. Everyone watching this vlog is now scratching their heads. <laughs> <laughs> what just <laughs> And don't worry, we are equally as confused <laughs> about Sam Arnott's comments. <laughs> Definitely not cutting it out. But hopefully you enjoyed the footage of the. 4k ut1s as well with a little bit of stink off towards the end <laughs> and i'll see you after i'm finished the workout and we've had a delicious lunch after the session lovely 4ks held on to the ut1 split from the 3x2ks last week excellent success chicken and rice for lunch because remember food is fuel eating this and then we've got weights this afternoon with big phrase hopefully enjoyed air thoughts as well yeah buddy see you weights and in the changing room getting changed ready to go for weights time with Fraser let's get to it
And that is us finished for the day. Fraser and I had a great weight session. Good erg for KUT1s. Decent splits. And a lovely paddle this morning in the pair with Fraser. But it's absolutely chucking it down now. Oh my god. I've not seen rain at this time of day for about two months. Ha oh. Good news and bad news? Alright. But that'll be it for the rest of the vlog for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button. Have a good one.